everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and I have another project using this really cute, fun set called Free Cake. It's um, available in the 2018 Annual Stampin' Up! Catalog. I think it's really fun if you're a kid of the 80s. This jumps out at you right away. And of course, it has lots of fun little puns to put on your birthday cards. Now, this card I designed a little bit differently than a regular card. It's a pocket card, and the little sentiment slides in and out. This would also allow you to put in a gift card or some cash maybe for the recipient. All right, well, let's get started. Let's make all of this first. I want to color that cute little cake in. It's my favorite part of this card. Now, if you notice, it says, yay, free cake, but inside it says, oh, I mean, happy birthday. Because don't we all get excited, especially at work, if it's somebody's birthday and somebody's brought a cake? It's silly. I think this would be a fun card for a coworker. All right, so I'm gonna ink this up in Memento Black. And I'm gonna stamp it on Whisper White. And I'm gonna give it just a second to dry. It dries pretty quickly, but I always like to make sure it's dry. Okay, you can even hit it with a heat tool if you feel like you wanna make extra care, that make extra sure that it's dry. Now, I'm using the Stampin' Blend. That's why I use the Memento. Always use your Memento Black if you're gonna use the blends. Don't use your stays on, they won't work together. And I colored this to make it look kind of ombre. So I'm gonna start with the lightest Highland Heather blend, Stampin' Blend, and I'm just gonna go across this bottom piece all the way up, building up that color. And I'm gonna go real lightly up here at the top because that's where it's gonna be the lightest. Now I like to leave my markers open so I can switch back and forth to, um, between them quickly. So I'm gonna leave that open and I'm gonna take my darkest color, the hi dark Highland Heather, and go up about half, maybe a little less than half. Then I'm gonna go back with my light and go over it, but then stop about two thirds of the way up. See how I'm adding, I'm building up that color along the bottom, but not at the top because we want the top to be the lightest. A little more dark at the bottom, and then I'm gonna go one more time with the light to build it up, to blend it. All right, so we're done with the Highland Heather. Now we're gonna do the same thing with a pineapple punch. I'm gonna start with a light from the bottom to the top, and I'm only going to make sure that I go over that top part one time. Now I'm gonna get my dark, and I'm going to go about halfway. Now come back with a light, and go over again, blending up, but don't go over the very top, because we want that to stay light. Let's do a little bit more dark here on the bottom, like that. Now when you're using the blends, these colors will build on top of each other. The lighter color will actually blend them all together, but add color as well. Now you can see I was kind of messy with this, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cut it out. This uh, stamp does not have a coordinating framelit or a punch, so we gotta go old, old school and do some fussy cutting. So I cut off the excess cardstock and I'm going to take my little scissors, my sharpest scissors, and I'm just going to go right on the outside of the black line, just a little bit. Now I also decided to cut these candles off because they're, they're, they would be a little bit difficult to fussy cut. And we're going to add a cute little candle embellishment anyway, and it's going to be cuter than those candles. If you were stamping on just a piece of Whisper White and you were not cutting it out, then those candles would be just fine. But I'm gonna adapt the image a little bit. All right, now these scallops are a little tricky. Just remember, stay on the outside of the image. Leave some white there. And you won't even see your cut image. You'll just see the black. All right, now let's layer it up. I went ahead and did some die cutting ahead of time. I used my stitched square, the largest stitched square framelit, to cut out this. This is the Melon Mambo Designer Series paper from the Brights DSP pack. Then I used this really fun framelit that's from a bunch of banners, framelits, and I cut out a Pineapple Punch DSP banner. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple of dimensionals 
I really like these two bold colors together. And I also like these bold patterns, polka dot and the stripes. All right, now let's put a few dimensionals here on the back of our cake. And we're gonna add it right there. All right, leave a little bit of room for your candle. Your, your candles come together. This is actually a few packs I put all together in one pack. So there's quite a few in there. But pick out one, it doesn't matter, gold or silver. And look, it comes with adhesive on the back already, yay! So slide that behind just a little bit and stick it on. Cute. All right, let's add a bow. We always need a bow, right? Here is the Gorgeous Grape Mini Striped Ribbon. One of my favorite ribbons in the catalog. Comes in three colors. Gorgeous Grape being the one that I seem to be using the most. All right, now the Mini Glue Dot, and I'm just gonna put that there on the corner. All right, so we've got that done. Let's get the holder, the outside part, um, created. Now, I wanna point out that this was a project I originally did during a Facebook Live. Um, I always like to re-record my projects so they have a clean recording. You don't have to sit through all the Facebook Live to see the project. But I also type up PDFs for those projects. It has everything I'm using as well as the measurements right here. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can hop over to my blog using the link in the description here on my um, video and find that PDF. It'll take you back to the original Facebook Friday post. All right, this is a piece of gorgeous grape that is five and a half by 11, a regular card base size. I'm gonna score it first at four and a fourth and then at seven. All right, so you can see this is gonna create that lip that folds over. Now, I wanted to create some texture on my card, so I pulled out the really fun maps, etc. thick embossing folder. These are one of the, the, um, the new embossing folders that Stampin' Up! came out with about a year ago, and they create really thick, uh, really nice texture, but they're thicker. So you have to make sure that your sandwich on your Big Shot is right. You're gonna use your standard platform with none of the extra layers, okay? And then we're going to stick this in here like that. I'm gonna stop there. You can also see that there's a line right here. That'll help you line up your card just right. So it'll be straight. All right, put it straight on the platform and then all you need is one clear plate to go over it, okay? And we're gonna run it through. Just one time is all we need, and let's take a look. Perfect. All right, let's move that out of the way. I'm gonna fold this over, and I'm gonna put some tear and tape here to get this to stick down. All right, I want it to stay. Before we fold it down, we're gonna actually fold this closed and we're gonna put staples right here. That way when we adhere that down, you won't be able to see the staples. That's gonna hold our little pocket together. All right, now we can take off that adhesive and fold it down. And now we have a pocket. All right, the last thing we need to do, here's our little pocket, our little card that goes down in the pocket. We wanna make that a little fancy. So let's take the Pineapple Punch ink and the little stars from this same set and add a few. And then we need to add the second part of the sentiment. It says, yay, free cake. But we also wanna say, oh wait, happy birthday. So that's this one. And I'm gonna do it in Melon Mambo right there in the corner. All right, so this is a really easy card to do, um, but it's fun and it's different than a regular card. I like that, that it, um, it's just a kind of different, kind of breaks up the norm of our normal card designs. And it will fit in an envelope, a regular envelope, just like our other cards. All right, a couple of dimensionals, and all I'm gonna do is add that little thing we made earlier. And there we have it. All right, you guys, I hope you like this card. Think about this design, you could use lots of different stamp sets. Um, to make fun little pocket cards like this. If you have questions, please let me know and make sure you hop over to my blog and find the PDF so you'll have all the measurements and all the tools that you need. 
Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.